So one of my subscribers, Marie, she sent me a request to do this hairstyle and I think it is so much fun and I can't wait to show you guys. And it's a really fun way to do a uh, fishtail French braid, kind of like a French fishtail incorporated into this really fun updo. And you can pair this with some awesome aviator sunglasses and look hardcore just like Hayden did in her Nashville show. So I hope you guys enjoy and thumbs up for Hayden Pieta's hair because she is awesome. I don't know if you can see my makeup, but I'm wearing glitter today and it is so much fun. So give me a baby thumbs up if you want a makeup tutorial on this. In this hairstyle, just blow out your hair like normal. Then in the front, we're going to take from eyebrow to eyebrow and section this back off. We're going to use this as our little poof on top. So I'm going to take a small section from the back and I'm going to use a soft brush to tease this. Now we don't want to do it too jersey because we're not trying to be jersey. So just do it enough to where it's going to give you a really nice little poof. And in the front section, um, the one that's going to be showing, try to do less tease so that you don't have such a messy look and you can hide the tease behind it. Then using your soft brush, just slightly go over it really nicely and this is going to smooth everything out and give us a really pretty smoothed out poof. And then grab yourself a bobby pin and bobby that in, bobby pin that in place just for a second. And then I'm going to pull out two small little pieces on the sides just to have some hair coming down so it's not all up. Then I'm going to pull my hair back into like a ponytail and use my soft brush to smooth out the sides. This is going to ensure that I have all of my sides pulled back and brushed back so when we go to do the braid, it is smooth. Then I'm going to start at the very top towards the middle and I'm going to grab quite a good section of hair. Um, so probably about three inches by an inch. And then I'm going to part it into two strands. And this is going to do our fishtail braid. So I'm going to grab a small sliver from the left side and I'm going to add that into my right strand and incorporate that to become a part of that strand. Then I'm going to grab a piece from the right side and I'm going to take that over to my left strand and incorporate that into that strand. And this is how you fishtail. So again, I'm going to pull from the left side a small sliver and I'm going to add that into my right strand. And then I'm going to take a small strand from the right side and that add that into my left side. And I'm going to continue this all the way down to the end. When you get to the point where you can't fishtail braid and French it in, just continue on by doing a regular fishtail braid by adding in pieces from your two strands to each side. When you get to where you basically can't fishtail braid anymore, just turn that into a regular three strand braid by making a couple strands out of your two strands. So just basically part one into two and then that'll give you three. So you don't have to worry about this part because it's just going to go up. So three strand braid this all the way down until you get to the end and we will use a clear hair tie or a colored hair tie to tie this off. And I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to loop my end in just like this. That way it doesn't spray out. So now that we have that done, I'm going to take my braid and I'm going to basically fold it under and I'm going to tuck this in a little hole right in between where my fishtail French braid is. So basically right up and in there, I'm going to tuck that little end all the way up and through till it's basically hitting the end of my hairline. Then I'm going to use bobby pins and secure that up and under on the inside. Make sure that you're hiding your bobby pins and that they're not showing or pulling down your French fishtail braid. I only had to use four bobby pins to do this, so don't go like, oh, I'm gonna bobby pin a whole bunch in there. So now take the bobby pins off of your poof, and I'm basically doing this so that I can hide a little hole if you have a hole, and I'm going to just twist it over bobby pin it new and then hide that little hole and then hairspray it. So now we have our finished look and I hope you guys enjoy. This is such an awesome hairstyle and I thank you so much Marie for asking me to do it. Enjoy!